Hello, Inside the Magic viewers and listeners. My name is Maddie Cameron, and I am back once again to talk about things every true Disney fan should know about Disney names. Being a true Disney fan, you're probably asking yourself, self, why is Maggie talking about Disney names? I already know all the names of all the Disney characters. True, but did you know the reason why they have those names? The meaning behind those names? Original names? Full names? Being a true Disney fan, you probably knew one of the four, but there's still tons of stuff about Disney names out there that people don't realize and kind of forget about and don't even think about. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So, let's begin. Maleficent's Raven is Diablo. The hitchhiking ghosts are not just hitchhiking ghosts, they have names that are Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. In the Hunchback of Notre Dame commentary, Don Hahn said that Frollo's horse was given the very terrifying name Snowball. These sassy gospel singing muses from Hercules all have names with meanings. Calliope is the muse of epic tales. Cleo is the muse of history. Malpomene is the muse of drama. Tusurkri is the muse of dance. And Thalia is the muse of comedy. The little mushroom from Fantasia has the very cute little name Hoplo. And the graceful dancing ostrich is Mill, while the light on her feet Hippo is Hyacinthia, and the alligator is Ben Alligator. Simba in Swahili is Lion. Rafiki in Swahili is friend, Mufasa in Swahili is king, and Pumbaa in Swahili means slow-witted. And technically, if you think about it, Simba doesn't actually have a real name. He's just a lion. And technically, every lion in the movie is named Simba because they're a lion. And since Mufasa means king in Swahili, the movie in Swahili is Simba Mufasa. Lefou in French means idiot, fool, or the insane one. So, the next time you want to call someone an idiot without actually saying they're an idiot, just call them like foo. And actually say the saying, pardon your French, and actually be pardoned for your French. You can actually use the saying and for what it means. Gaston in French means man from Gascony. Gascony is the southern region of France, and if you can see it in the circled, yeah, the little circled area on the map there, that's Gascony. And they actually have a reputation of their citizens for being hot-tempered. Kind of fits, doesn't it? Ursula is derived from a diminutive form of the Latin word Ursa, meaning she-bear. And Ariel during Shakespearean times actually meant mischievous spirit. Mulan in Chinese means magnolia blossom. Fa Ping, Mulan's pseudonym as a soldier in Chinese literally means flower pot and figuratively means eye candy. It's a small joke in the subtitles for China. And this one's my favorite. Shifu in Chinese literally means to pick on or ridicule. Lilo in Hawaii means generous one, while Nani in Hawaiian means beautiful. Pacha in the Incan language means earth. Eve stands for extraterrestrial vegetation evaluator. Serena in Spanish, no surprise, means mermaid. Hathi and Bagheer are the Hindi words of their species. Sher Khan in Hindi means tiger king. And Raja in Hindi means Indian prince. In the 1942 animated war short Donald Gets Drafted, we discover that Donald's full name is Donald Font Leroy Duck. In the book Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, we discover that Wendy's full name is Wendy Mariah Angela Darling. Kronk's full name is Kronk Perry Crankeritz. Sebastian's full name is Horatio... Cr no, dang it, no, that's not it. His name is really hard and hard to pronounce, so let me try it again. Horatio Felanius... No, no, no. Horatio Crustaceous... Nope, wrong order. Horatio Felanius... Blah! Horatio, Felanius, Ignatius, Crustaceous, Sebastian! Yes! In the comic strip story The Gleam by Meryl Demers and Floyd Gottfredson, we find out that Minnie's first name is Minerva. Timon's full name is Timon Berkowitz. And if you forgot Thomas O'Malley's full name... Mom Abraham DeLacy. Giuseppe Casey. Thomas O'Malley. O'Malley the Alley Cat. The creepy twin Siamese cats from Lady and the Tramp, Cyan Am, were originally going to be called Nip and Tuck. Buzz Lightyear was originally going to be called Lunar Larry. Goofy was originally known as Dippy the Dog until in 1938 the book The Story of Dippy the Goof came out. After that, his name was changed to Goofy. Honest John from Pinocchio also goes by J. Worthington Fowlfellow. So when I actually first saw this, I saw this on the internet, and I actually didn't really believe it because they actually never say that name. They only call him Honest John in the movie. But... Then I went through some Disney Scenic cards, because I just do that, <laughs> and I found something kind of interesting, and let me see if I could get it to show here. Oh, it actually shows pretty well. Um, what Disney movie stars a character known as both Jay Worthington Fowlfellow and Honest John? So, I guess in this case... Yeah, 
I can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. Tramp was originally going to be called Homer, Rags, or Bozo. The handsome rogue Flynn Rider's name was originally going to be Bastion, and he was actually going to be British. And let's face it, Flynn Rider sounds a gazillion times better than Bastion. Let's face it, naming one hot guy who has a ridiculous British name and is British and is also hot. Hello, uh, my name is Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay, point taken. But still, Flynn Rider is a much better name than Bastion. And by the way, I'm not in love with Benedict Cumberbatch. Or think that he's hot. Just, no. Nancy Tremaine from Enchanted is a tribute to Lady Tremaine from Cinderella since Nancy was going to be a hopefully not evil stepmother to Morgan. While The Incredibles was in production, it was given the very appropriate codename Tights. Animators used the codename Man in the Forest if Walt Disney was walking around the halls. Boo has a real name, which is Mary, in honor of the girl who did her voice, Mary Gibbs. Pixar has used the name Flo twice for a character once in Finding Nemo for Deb's twin, I guess, and in Cars for the character Flo. We all know the seven dwarfs, but here are some of the forgotten dwarf names. Ready? These are pretty funny. Um, jumpy, Duffy, Dizzy, Sniffy, Lazy, Puffy, Stuffy, Tubby, Shorty, and Burpee. Charles Muntz, the old guy everybody hated from Up, is named after the Universal Pictures executive in 1928, Charles Mintz, the man who took the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit from Disney. And what happened to Charles Muntz in the movie? Oh yeah, he died. That is revenge, Disney and Pixar style. Thanks for watching, and Ricky and you viewers and listeners, I hope you all have a great week. And kind of give an update, I'm probably not going to do a video um, until after Christmas. I'm really going to try hard to. Don't, like, I will try hard. But I'm going to be busy with a lot of school things. I go to the School of the Arts um, for orchestra. I play the clarinet. I know, the geeky instrument. But I'm going to be bus very busy with that. But the reason why I'm going to be very busy is actually kind of because of Disney things. Because my school is an um, all-school musical where it's literally we do a full Broadway show with the pit orchestra and everything and they picked um, members from the orchestra and I was chosen in this year's um, musical. I am so excited because it's Beauty and the Beast, some of the best music of like not just Disney but like of all time. So I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing this. So one of the reasons why I'm not going to be you know doing videos is because of that. Disney. Um, and the other and during the Christmas time my school auditioned to be in the honor choir for um, the candlelight processional at Epcot and um, we haven't gotten the official okay but we've been doing it for like 15 years so we probably will but then again I don't want to jinx it or you know anything bad happened so we probably will gonna be doing that so I'm gonna be busy with yet another Disney thing so just kind of wanted to give an update about that and so probably won't see you until after Christmas until you know the beginning of 2014 I'll try my best to do a video maybe something about Disney music because I'm doing a lot of Disney music related stuff um, in these next couple of months so just thank you for watching and have a great week so my Disneyism is the name that we all know and love and know how to spell is well who's the leader of the club made just for you and me